I can't. I can't. I can't. Ugh. Yeah. So that's the tune we're going to play. But we're not going to play it like that. Check out the new intro. <laughs> What's up guys? That is the tune we're going to play, Road to List and Varna. It's come up in request a few times in the comments, and honestly I've just avoided it and kind of pretended like I didn't see him because I really don't like this tune, which is dumb. It's just one that gets kind of beat up by, by folks at beginner sessions a lot, and it's just generally not a lot of fun to play. But we can have some fun with it, we can make it useful, and it is one of those that's good to know. So my advice would be learn it just so you can say you know it, and then you can carry on living your life. Right, so here we go. I'm going to play it the way I always play it and then we'll go back and break down the melody. So, here we go. Basic melody, we'll run that through fairly quickly because hopefully it's one you've heard and, and you can get, get behind your fingers fairly fast. Uh, so we'll start off with the A part of chorus. All right, I'll run that again because it's just a simple repeat. B part jumps up to the second E. So it ends the same as the A part, I'll do that again, just so you have it uh, one more time here. So there we go. Now, ornaments-wise, um, it's such an odd tune. It's a slide, which typically are played at breakneck speed. This one never seems to be, and I, I just, I guess I don't know why. It's kind of an aberration. Uh, but ornaments-wise, here's the few things that I would do right off the bat. Um, I just like to do a couple short rolls on those just because you're just sitting on those notes for a bit, so. So a handful of things. Again, the short roll. I do a bit of a cran on the D. I guess it's kind of a short cran. And another short roll on the, on the uh, F sharp, although you could do a triplet or a full roll. That's how I like to do it. Uh, so just a simple cut there. Now that little bit is kind of odd because it's it's hitting the C sharp and not a ton of these tunes do. So go from the C sharp to the B. It's just kind of a bit of an odd transition. So a couple of different options you can kind of play around with. It might take a bit of getting used to just because it's again kind of an unusual way to play, uh, way or an unusual way for the melody to go. Uh, so that's the A part. B part jumps up to the high A, or high E, and I would do the same thing. Again, the short roll. Cran there. So, just a simple tap. I usually do a slide off the C sharp, just because I always thought it sounded kind of good for, for that note. Every time we hit that D, I tend to do a cram. Just gives it a little bit more of a punch, and you kind of have time uh, to, to work those in there, so. Oh, that's one you can do. Uh, I think I demonstrated that a while back. It's an unusual ornament. I don't see a lot of people doing it, but, and it's, it sounds kind of cool, but you have to remember to get back to that B quickly. 
something like that. So to round off the phrase, again, that's kind of the same as what we did on the A part. Um, so play around with that. If you like the tune, knock yourself out. Um, it doesn't come up too often in the sessions that I go to, um, just because I think most of the folks are kind of sick of it. But get it under your belt, learn it, because it's bound to come up, and it's one you just have to know. So I hope you like that one. More videos coming. Um, I'm going to resolve in 2019 to have more fun with these, so getting into the video editing, doing all that kind of stuff. Hope you like it. If not, I'm probably going to do it anyway, just because I like doing it. Uh, hopefully you guys dig it. Let me know either way in the comments, and always hit me up with requests. Uh, I'll do my best. I'm kind of working through them as I go. Hopefully I can knock a few of them out. So catch you guys in the next one. See ya.